there. Hello. Hi, this is Brian and Christina from Your Healthy Steps, the mm -hmm. creators of the Ultimate Foam Roller Blueprint. And we teach purposeful foam rolling and self-care skills so you could be active and pain-free. Well, today we're going to talk about pain patterns. And the reason why we discuss pain patterns every week is because an estimated 50 million Americans suffer from chronic pain. Yeah, that's a lot. And so the pain referral patterns that we share um, with you is often misdiagnosed and they can lead to a ton of frustration and confusion. Absolutely. Um, and it's tight muscles can create significant pain. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, widespread and significant. Pain. Yeah, so the goal of the Ultimate Foam Roller Blueprint, the program that we made, is to provide education so that you can take an active role in your self-care. Absolutely. Okay, so today we are talking about um, a muscle that is really important if you are working on correcting your posture. Absolutely. So we're going to show you how you can do some self-care on this muscle, some stretching, and then we're going to talk about, um, of course, the pain patterns, pain right? Pattern That's the big one. one. Yeah. And then um, purposeful foam rolling, what you can do to help that muscle. Yep. Okay, so Brian's going to take it away. Okay, so last our last video we talked about where this muscle was at, and it's right below your clavicle. So the blue area here is the clavicle on Mr. Manny, and then orange here is the muscle subclavius. And so the reason why this is important with posture is because when this muscle is tight, it can help pull our shoulders forward and keep us in this position, even though we're trying to be in good posture. So that, that's one of the postural issues it can do, but as far as pain patterns, this one's a big one. <laughs> so yeah. um, we're just gonna sort of basically show you where, the, so when a muscle gets very, very tight, it creates what's called a, a hyper-irritated point, which if it continues to get tighter, it can create into what is called a trigger point. And that's just a hyper-irritated point that is so angry, it's firing the pain off to somewhere else. So the trigger point, and some muscles have two, some have three, some have four, this muscle has one significant trigger point, and it's right up and toward the center of your body on the muscle, but this one trigger point can send pain in a whole lot of areas. So that's what we're gonna show you right now. And this is all marked out in red. I've got a red line right up here, so you can have pain right above the clavicle. The whole entire muscle, this orange area right up here, and this red area, all of that area right on the top of your chest can be painful caused by this muscle. And then if we move Mr. Manny over a little bit, you'll notice that he has, I'm gonna to have to get out of the way here, this pain comes right down to the top portion of his upper arm, right in this area right in here. And then all the way down the bicep, you can have pain. And let's see if we can bring him up here. Yep, there, there you we go. go. You can have pain on the, on the forearm, but basically sort of the top portion of the thumb side of it on the inside and on the back side, but it's gonna be on your thumb side of the forearm. And then you can also have pain on the back of your hands, if we can bring this up here, the back of the hand and the, the thumb and the first two fingers, all the way down the back of the first two fingers and the thumb. And pain, let's see if we can turn him back around this way. I don't know if we can see that or not. But you can get pain on the inside palm of the hand, on the thumb side. Let me have to turn around just a little bit more. That's okay. Okay? Yep. And onto the fingers. So we can get pain on the fingers, palm of the hand, palm of the, th or the inside of the thumb, first two fingers, and then all the way up the arm, just like that. So that's one small hyper irritated point on a very tiny muscle that can create pain all the way down in this, in this whole area. So what we tell people when we're talking about pain in the chest area or down the arm, we just tell people it's best to have your, get a, go in and get checked out by your doctor. Make sure you don't have something going on with the heart. Mm -hmm. That's always the most important part. And then once you get a clear bill of health, and a lot of our clients have, they've had clear bill of health, their, health is, their heart is fine, but they still have these kind of pains. Then it's a fair bet that this muscle or some muscle, maybe this one can be a good uh, cause of that. So, how do we how do we do the self care on this muscle? Well, a really good exercise is going into a corner of the room 
or in the door frame and doing what we call a bicep stretch. So taking your hands and putting it either on the, the door frame or the corner and then keeping your arms just below the top of your shoulders and then dropping down into it and stretching out your whole chest. We call that a, a chest or a pectoralis major stretch, but these muscles will be stretched also. So that's a wonderful stretch for you to do. Mm -hmm. And self-care, we talked about yesterday where, that, where it was located at and how to locate it, how to find it. Same thing, you're gonna take your hand right up here on the clavicle. And again, we have this pec muscle here, pectoralis major, so you won't be able to do too much there, but it's a good idea to work it, just circular movements just like this. But as you work your way out, now you're getting closer to the sub, subclavius, <laughs> sorry, subclavius muscle. It's a hard one to say. And then you can just move that arm back and forth, just like this. And you will fear that, feel that muscle move underneath your finger. And we just, little circular movements just like that will help get this muscle to relax. So stretching, this type of work, and then what we call purposeful, foam rolling. So again, this is a hard muscle to get to when we foam roll, but if you're foam rolling the pectoralis major or the chest muscle, that's a purposeful foam rolling. You're foam rolling with a purpose to get this big muscle to relax. That's gonna help the smaller muscle relax. So again, self maintenance or self massage, stretching, and then foam rolling this bigger muscle, pectoralis major, that's gonna do wonders to get this whole area to loosen up. It's gonna right. make it a whole lot easier to be in good posture. Right, and if this muscle is crazy tender on you and you're having a difficult time getting to it, then go to your massage therapist, go to a PT Absolutely. and ask for some help. But now you know um, what muscle it is and, yeah. and what they're doing, what their goal yeah. is. And it's, it, you know, at least you have something that you can, uh, other than this covering it up or something, you can go and you say, I think maybe I'm, ha and then have them look at it. And sometimes this is so tender, mm -hmm. it, some people don't, they're like, whoa, I mean, oh, should I be doing that? That's another good indication. Just go go to a massage therapist, go to a physical therapist, have them take a look at it, um, and then um, they're probably gonna get in and work on it, and then right. uh, give you some stretches, that type of stuff, and then you can move forward. You got it. Yeah. Okay, so that is the subclavius muscle. Subclavius, yeah. yep. A lot of people don't even know it's there. <laughs> <laughs> So if you're the kind of person who wants to um, take an active role in your self-care, then you would totally love the Ultimate Foam Roller Blueprint. Absolutely. Because we walk you step by step through all the muscle groups in the body. Absolutely. Yep. And you can use it then as a reference guide um, to find out what you should be working on. Yeah, we teach you how to foam roll and then why to foam roll and what actually you are foam rolling, what muscle you're actually foam rolling. Yeah. So, yep. Okay. Well, thanks so much. This is Brian and Christina from Your Healthy Steps, and we will time. see you next week. Absolutely. Bye-bye. Take care.